Kerry Ann Kennelly's beloved husband John remains in hospital after a freak accident. Friend and former colleague Brady Halls joins me now with the latest. And Brady, Kerry Ann and John are soulmates, aren't they? Oh, you know, indeed they are, Trace. You know, I look around this studio tonight, and this is where Kerry Ann spent much of her time here at Channel 9. And John was like, he was like part of the furniture here. He'd be standing behind one of those cameras over there, and he'd be just watching her. I worked on the midday show as a reporter in the late 90s, and John would be sitting in the audience watching the show. Now, a short time ago, I got the very latest on his condition. John underwent lengthy operation last night. They tried to remove the ventilator this morning, but that was not successful. He has fractured his neck and is in a stable and comfortable condition, I'm told. And Kerry Ann would like to thank everyone for their love and support. Oh, we fell in love. She changed my life, and I've been so happy with her ever since. I've been in love with her then, and in love with her now. And we never stopped having fun. He's always been there, off to the side, in the background, supportive, and oh, so proud. And he's always been the quiet one. Never outlandish, very reserved the polar opposite of his beloved wife. It is like such a, a supporting, loving relationship. It was an accident, which is always the most devastating, isn't it? I mean, you know, who would have thought? It was certainly a fairly simple accident with these incredibly serious consequences. It was supposed to be a fun-packed couple of days, doing what she loves, golf at what is said to be the most beautiful course in the country, at Bonville, near Coffs Harbour on the New South Wales mid-north coast. It's a magnificent course. This event, the uh, Bonville Ladies Classic, I've been attending about 12 of them. I think I started off about 30. Now I'm down to about 14. It's tough, but it doesn't matter how you play. It is a fabulous weekend. Uh, I, as I said, I've done it year after year after year. There's a lot of fun. There's a few cocktail parties, a few, a few theme parties. It is so, so enjoyable. It wasn't long after CAC posted this photo of her and John at one of those themed events that her beloved husband fell over a hedge while taking some more happy snaps. John was placed in an induced coma with a serious neck injury and flown to Sydney for emergency surgery. I was really shocked. I was actually on my way to work this morning and I heard about it then. And my, my first response was, I imagine how Kerry ann must feel, I imagine how, you know, devastated she would be. Hairdresser to the stars, Joe Bailey, has for decades been through thick and thin with Kerry ann and John. She's been a client of this salon for, once again, I can't remember how long. And I see them out regularly all the time and, you know, we have dinners together. They have been inseparable ever since that 1984 wedding. At the Opera House, mind you. A Kerry ann wedding could never be anything but lavish. Have you taken this home for John, your husband? <laughs> I know he's in the studio, John. <laughs> and ever since, John has been there for CAC at every social scene going. He is his own man, but he is always so proud of everything that she achieves in life. Through the highs and the lows. Like all loving couples, they have supported each other through health scares. Kerry Ann's breast cancer and John's battle with bowel cancer. It turned out to be about the size of a grapefruit. It, it, it actually attacked itself to my liver. But that wasn't John's only health drama, says entertainment reporter Peter Ford. John had another fall in England about two years ago, which was pretty serious, but he fully recovered from that. And he is a man of senior years. Not that you'd ever know it. His kind of zest for life and enjoyment is, is something I would love to have now. Aside from his wife, John's other great love in life, believe it or not, is model trains. Well, it's taken me 40 years to make all the models. Now, building the railway, I think another 15 years at least, but... Uh... CAC prefers to go off the rails in other ways. <laughs> Come on, baby. Now, an interview with Kerry ann has always been more than just a chat. To make it really interesting, you had to be cac Every woman in Australia wants to see you eat a Magnum ice cream. And... But that's stage business. Family is different. And with news like today's, Kerry ann has remained silent, tucked away inside the hospital. When it comes to the private life, 
her own family, she shuts down. She's a real softie. Um, that's, her, that's her Achilles heel. Uh, she would be really, really doing it tough at the moment. You know, from the first time uh, that I ever met him, he always remembered, you know, my name, remembered things. It wasn't just, you know, one of those social, you know, hi, how are you sort of things. He very engaging. You are so gorgeous. You're like one of the most generous people that I've ever met. I think you're funny. Fashion designer I'm Alex so Perry has worked, worked with Carrie Ann and, and John his entire career. I don't think I've ever been to a function that Kerry ann has been at that John hasn't been there uh, by her side. I mean, they are the I mean, two peas in a pod. Oh, we fell in love. She changed my life, and I've been so happy with her ever since. I've been in love with her then, and in love with her now. And yes, our TV queen has had her crown knocked for six. She is one of the great survivors of the industry. You know, garlic and a wooden steak could not stop Kerry ann when it comes to the show business world. But this is the real world, and this is far more challenging. It certainly is, and our thoughts and love are with John and Kerry ann tonight. Still to come on A Current Affair, affordable new family clothes and homewares from discount giant Target.